I lied. I am going to review your videos. Um, because earlier in the video I just posted, I said that I wasn't going to because I had things to do, but that was actually a lie. I don't have anything to do other than to eat this chocolate that I bought for myself on Valentine's Day and maybe watch a movie. Um, and then go to class. <coughs> so, the first video I wanted to go over, someone sent me a video by, she's a female rapper, I believe her, she goes by Legacy, like, Lega, like Zega, but Lega, and then Dash C, original, I guess, and, um, I've seen her videos before, but not this particular one. She, she's very talented, she's very good, I mean, the video is titled White Girl Raps Fast, and that she does, she, I mean, she really does, she raps fast, um, and she's good. She's good at what she does. Um, although, I don't know, maybe it's the tone of her voice? Um, I probably wouldn't buy her CD. I feel like it would get annoying real quick. Um, but she does have a lot of talent, and that's why it's unfortunate, because it's like, wow, you have a lot of gift right there. Like, I wish I could move my mouth that fast. I, I can barely talk. And, um, yeah, good for her. She's doing a good job. I like her a lot. But, uh, again, I wouldn't buy her CD. Um, someone also sent me a video, it's a band called Mary Has a Gun. <gasps> Mary Has a Gun! Uh, I'm gonna sandwich my commentary, it's gonna be good, bad, good, you know, just to coat it all in there, sugar coat it a little bit. Um, good comment, uh, the lead singer is very attractive. Oh my god, so attractive. Um, <clears throat> bad comment, they suck, they're terrible, they're just awful. I mean, he has, a, he has a good voice, but they're just really generic. They sound a lot like Old Time Low and... I don't want to say Fall Out Boy. Fall Out Boy kind of took a strange turn. Uh, like Plain White Tees. Like that kind of that kind of era. The transitioning, like early high school sort of era. Um, yeah, I would... They're annoying. I don't like them. It's not my type of music. They're really generic. Um, another good thing? They are going to sell a lot of freaking albums and t-shirts and all this stuff. Because girls see the singer and the rest of the band members and they're like, oh my god, they're so cute. And then um, they also hear the generic lyrics and the generic music and the same guitar into every fucking song. And they're gonna get they're gonna get big because of this. Um, so good for them, I guess. You know, make that money. Uh, someone else had always or had also sent me. Let's see here. Epileptic Fingers. I believe I actually commented on his page. I don't remember what I said, but it was probably along the same lines of you're really good at playing guitar, but your music choice sucks. Um, a lot of talent. A lot of just like, like super good. Super good. But I don't know about the song choice. <laughs> I, I mean, your sense of music just sort of sucks based on what I've heard from you. Uh, I'm not saying that you suck, I'm not saying that all your music sucks, I'm saying what I've heard of you sucks. Well, the covers. But you're pretty good. So it's okay. Uh, I still respect you as an artist. But uh, I, I'm actually only going to review those three today. Just because a lot of the other stuff you guys sent me was crap. No offense. Um, people keep sending me... Uh, What's it called? Oh dear Vegas. Oh dear God. Um, don't like them. I really don't. I don't, I don't like them at all. Uh, they're not bad. I just, I just don't like them. I do like Eric Clapton. People keep sending me a bunch of his stuff. That's yeah, wholesome, lame, happy. Yeah, there's something Tear, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Happy, sad song, wholesome, lame. Really entertaining. Um, e Money Tree got to get it. Mm, wasn't that good, no offense. Um, long story short, I wanted to leave you with some bands I wanted you to check out, just so you guys stop sending me just a bunch of rap that sort of sucks. Um, I'm, I'm actually not a huge rap fan. I'm not. I'm not a huge rap fan. I do like good rap. <laughs> I do. I like Aesop. I like The Grouch. I like so on and so forth. A little bit of Kid Cudi, you know. Um, he's not terribly good anymore, though. Long story short, I wanted to leave you with, um, I don't know what you would call it, it's not, well, 
it's like folk, you know, experimental, a little, a little strange. I wanted to leave you with Maps and Atlases. Um, very, very strange group. It's hard to get into. It's hard to like them at first. But uh, the guy's voice is so, so beautiful. He has a, he has kind of a Claudio Sanchez and Cedric Bixler quality to his voice. And, uh, oh, it's gorgeous. He, a little bit strange, a little bit, it's a different tone than theirs, but the same sort of thing to it. Um, what was I going to say? What else was I going to leave you with? Akron family. Uh, I've probably talked about them before. They're good in small doses. <laughs> it depends what you're in the mood for, because they're definitely folk, but they like to experiment a lot. Um, if I were to check out a song by them, I would check out I'll Be on the Water first. Just to kind of get you hooked. Like, oh, I'm hooked, but they're only good in small doses. My boyfriend loves them all the time, but I like them in tiny doses. Um, and same with Fleet Foxes. Fleet Foxes, oh, beautiful voice. Great, just great music. Um, if you've never heard them before, I would do Montezuma first. That's probably their most popular song. Um, but, oh, such a beautiful voice. But, I mean, you got to be in the mood for them. But yeah, check those those three groups out and tell me how you like them. Um, might not be your thing, but that's alright, because I don't give a shit. <laughs>